Hello, Mr. Farmsome Guy. How are you doing today? Morning, Arx. How are we? Not too bad, thank you. It's a nice bright green hoodie you've got there. You've uh, been testing out some new equipment, I see. I have indeed. I saw you were doing it on your live stream last night as well. It's quite a good mm, kit. Mm. It's quite a good set of kit, isn't it? It is. Looking forward to that being in the wild and uh, everyone being able to have it. In fact, by the time this video comes out, it will be. That's right. That's right. Hmm. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're talking about No Man's Land and what we're going to do today. So I think we're going to go and sell some eggs, maybe a little bit of milk. We have another plot of land lined up. That's right. Yeah, we're running a bit low on silage and we know we need it for the cows, but also it funds us quite nicely with the BGA. So uh, yeah, we thought we'd do another grass silage harvest first before jumping into the canola. Yep, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna buy another plot of land. We're gonna put down a fermenting silo just behind where you're standing right now, and then just get to mowing some grass and getting it made, I suppose. That's right. We don't have enough money yet, though, do we? So we're gonna sell some eggs and some milk and see uh, see what that brings us to cash wise. Yep, sounds like a good idea. Well, I know you love loading trailers, so I thought I might have a turn this time. So I have <laughs> Thanks, to load man. the eggs up if, <laughs> if you want to sell the milk. All right, I, uh, I'll happily take that. All right, I might throw the maple syrup on too. I think there's a bit of that over there. Yeah, definitely. Sell as much as we can. All right, mate. Let's get going. Let's do it. All right. Morning, everyone. I hope we're all doing well. Yes, indeed. Um, we are going to get organised and do some grass work. Now, I think this water tank here is full. I might have to get that emptied before we can uh, ship the milk down to the cell point, so I will do that. We'll get the milk filled up. There we go, we'll just fill up the greenhouses here while we can. They do take a lot, so uh, we should see this fully emptied. Perfect. And the tank's all clean for uh, picking up the milk as well. Everyone's a winner. We'll just pull round here. See if we can hit the trigger. Right, there we are, filling up. Um, you'll see all the tyre tracks on the ground. That was nothing to do with me. I don't know what you're talking about. I drove straight in there with no problems. Right, let's get this down to the shop, get it sold. See how much we can make for this. Hogs will take a little bit longer. He's loading up the eggs. And there's a lot of maple syrup here too, so between them it will get uh, quite a nice little earner. Squeeze past him here. All right, we'll see it in the shop. All right, here we are. Let's get this tipped into the sell point. Um, Price-wise, we're not bad. We're about middle of the road. It's not at its lowest. It's not at its highest either. Um, but still over a thousand dollars per thousand litres so nice to get this sold should give us not far off what we need to buy the land and then really whatever args he gets for the eggs can go towards the uh, silo and we're good look at that we're uh, less than a thousand dollars off brilliant okay let's run this back probably pass args on the way if he's uh, loaded those up quickly enough and we'll get to the mowing as soon as we pull that plot of land. So there we go, Arx has got all the eggs lined up. He's just putting the last two pallets of maple syrup on here. And uh, that should be a nice little earner. There is a serious amount of eggs on that, so uh, I'd like to think uh, we'll get a good return on that. Just watching his deft skills there that looks quite precarious i'm not gonna lie let me just latch that for him before it falls down <laughs> that'll do right let him run that down to the shop well while he's doing that we might as well get ourselves hooked up with the mower Right, we just thought we'd fill up with uh, gas while we were here. We were running pretty low there. Looking not bad from a repair perspective, but... Uh, yes, we were going to run out of fuel pretty quickly. So there we go, 116,000. 
Does that give us enough to buy the silo as well? Right, so here is the plot of land that we have purchased. There are a few trees in it. Argus is going to come back with a low loader and we're going to put them on. Right, I think that's the only four trees, isn't it, Ox? So I, I think so. It's only if we wanted to cut any. There might be one or two that would stick out up the top there, but I reckon we can just work around them. If it's just going to be for grass work for now, we can cut them down if we have a plow it. Yeah, well, I was wondering, do we cut the grass off it now to get it off, but then do we plow and reseed it with the uh, grass? Do we get a better, higher yield? Could do. Could do that too. Could even expand the uh, what's in the canola fields once they're harvested and make them bigger fields down here too. Well, there's that as well, isn't there? Yeah. The world's our oyster. It is. Did you see how much money we got from those eggs? 30 grand just off the eggs. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's good money. So we've got just enough to be able to afford that fermenting silo. Yeah. No, we should put it down. We'll watch this. We'll uh, end up with more grass than we can fit in the silo. Probably. Good thing we've got those couple of bunkers too. Um, right, well, I'm going to leave you to mowing. I'll go down and sort out that fermenting silo. I'll sort out these trees and then I'll be over with the windrow. Awesome. See you in a bit. Right. Let's get some mowing done. I have to say, with this setup, this class mower is, as they say in the business, different class. So we'll run around the edge of this. A very big plot of land. We do have some uh, trees here, just in this top corner, but, um, I mean, we have got a serious expanse of land here. We are not going to be short of grass at the end of this. Right, mower unfolded on roughly the edge of the land here. So let's spin this up. Both of them up together. Both of them down together. Let's see how we get on here. Because we're doing such a, a large expanse, I'm not going to go super close to the trees, just to avoid any, any hassles. But there we go. We're off and running. Like I said, we could go up into there, but I don't really see the point. We'll just try and straight line this as much as possible. We could remove that one rogue tree actually in the future, but for now. It is a big plot of land, so I'm not going to be too concerned. Kind of wishing I had something like... Uh, Scooter's workbench is brush hog here to get rid of these bushes. But as uh, we talked about, Alex and I talked about maybe ploughing this under once we've cut it and reseeding it with proper grass, see if we can get the yield up a little bit. Right, we've got the GPS running. Alex is starting to lap with the windrow up there. So we should get through this relatively quickly. We do have a second arc just up here, which I'll do as well now and we'll just do this bottom section and we'll push on Right, I am coming up to the last little bit here, and then you can go and get the forage wagons and start loading up. If I can get this at an angle, actually, rather than having to do two passes, 
might get lucky. We also might not. Oh well, it was close enough. Reverse and grab this a little bit. And then we are done. Argus is not a million miles behind me with the windrower either, so um, we'll get through this pretty quick. There's our new storage silos. Looking pretty good. Oh, Matana's storage silos. Fermenting silos. You can get these in the mod hub. And they are very, very nice indeed. There it is. Straight thousand for a thousand. Price-wise, it's pretty good. I don't know what the maximum storage is on it. We'll soon now find out what that is. Let's get in and grab some grass. Silo's looking good, mate. Yeah, it worked out pretty well there, I think. It's going uh, to make a whole lot more efficiencies for us. Yes, indeed. I was just wondering uh, what capacity these were. I can't actually tell you, to be honest. Uh, I'll probably say in the production chain, won't it? It does not, but I've put 26,000 litres in there and it's barely registered on the, uh, on the marker, so hopefully they're pretty large. Oh, fingers crossed it is. I hope so too. I reckon, what do you reckon? 400,000 litres off there? Yeah, something like that. So, uh, definitely enough to fit in here, based on what I'm looking at yeah. already. Yep, oh, that'd be good. Very good. Now, I've um, saved the Windrow GPS course for you, so you should be able to pick that up and run along those for your loading wagon. Lovely. Thank you, mate. All right, let's carry on. Let's do it. You heard the man, we've got work to do. Here we go, last row. This hasn't taken long at all. Oh, I'm going to pick up that last little bit there. I'll grab this last full row. And we are done. That's not taken, like I said, not taken long at all. I don't know how much we've got in total in the silo, but that feels like a good, good amount of grass there. More than I think we've maybe ever had since, uh, since the start. That's when we first started and we are clearing land. Keep the cows fed and the BGA filled for a little while longer. I did see we've got a lot of um, digestate and slurry still, so we could be doing something to keep that topped up as well. Just keep that money rolling in. That is a good source of income for us, so we don't want to forget about it. Up through the trees here. See if I can beat Args. Going to be close. I'm totally ahead of him. Easy. Right, let's get this unloaded. Let Args unload his too, and we'll see how much we've got in here. Right, let's park around the back. Let Args unload as well. Let's see if his estimate of 400,000 litres is is on. I think we might be not far off that. 
Right. 274,000. Hogs is way off. But um, looking at this, I think this is probably a 1.5 mil litre silo, which is great. But I would like to plant real grass in there rather than just cutting what's there. I wonder if you could get a much bigger yield. That was a job well done, Args. Every job I do is a job well done, if you Oh yeah, I believe that wholeheartedly. <laughs> Say it with conviction next time, please. <laughs> uh, but no, it did go well. 271,000 litres or so? Yeah, no, that's not bad, is it? No, a little bit less than I thought, but uh, still, we'll go a long way to keeping the BGA ticking over. It will. Big, big silo capacity. I think it's about one and a half million litres, so um, it'd be good to keep it topped up. Yeah, good value for thirty thousand dollars compared to some of the others we looked at. They were very pricey. They were, they were. I'm definitely keen mm. to uh, have a go at maybe replanting those with grass seed and seeing if we can really bump that yield up. Okay, well we can have a look at that. Might want to buy a bigger plough before we do it. Yeah. No, no, you can do it. You can do the ploughing. No, 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 you can do. It. Oh, we've got field cultivator, don't we, for the cultivators? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all right. Plenty of options. All right. All right. What's the plan now? Slurry manure or uh, some silage into the BGA. Or a mix of all three. Or sell lettuce. Ah, you can sell lettuce if you want. Sell lettuce. Too many decisions. I'll just I'll jump in my tractor and I'll do something. Alright. And I'll jump in my tractor and do whatever you're not doing. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Where do we find these two? I don't know. Hey! <laughs> That's why I said we too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll uh, I'll put my bucket on and I'll go get the manure loaded up, eh? All right, mate. Well, I'll grab a tank and do some slurry. There's a manure pit. It's pretty full, actually. You just drop that down outside the cow pen, and it's working pretty well. We still got quite a lot of straw in with the cows, so that doesn't need topping up just yet. Yeah, I don't remember how much slurry there is in here. But I seem to remember it was quite a lot. Hopefully it'll tell us if we head in here. There we go, 37,600 litres. That is masses. I don't remember how much these slurry tankers take either, but uh, we'll fill them up and we'll find out. Right, just 8,000. So I reckon we chuck the majority of this in here because by the time we get round to fertilizing again it's going to have filled up again so let's drop this on a little uh, time lapse and uh, we'll be back when it's done there we go all the slurry is empty as you can see Args is loading up lettuce and some wool because this little trailer we've got here doesn't take manure so we're a little bit stuck as to what to do I don't think we've got anything else that will take manure either so um, yeah we couldn't take that much further I think of a solution for that because it's pretty full actually that manure point and we do want to use that for uh, solid fertiliser in the future as well. Keep ourselves self-sufficient. Um, but uh, for now, I'll just have to leave it. But there we go, loads of slurry into the BGA. Let's jump out actually and just check active. Which it is, so that should give us um, a good amount of money. Uh, we've got digestate in there as well that we can uh, use for spreading on the fields. So even though we're putting the slurry in, we've still got nearly 100,000 litres of digester as well, so um, looking good. Interestingly, sugar beets and sugar beet cuts can go in there. Uh, maybe another crop that we can look at in the future. And then obviously all the silage that we've just created would be beneficial for that too. But um, 
turned out to be quite a good little project having the BGA there. Right, let's park this up. Macedonogs, 37,000 litres of uh, slurry in the BGA as well, so that should help that tick over for a while. Yeah, I saw that. That'll be good. Get the silage in there as well. I just thought I'd leave the uh, trailer there filling up, so before we log out or uh, the start of the next one, we can get some more dumped in there. Sounds good. Good call. Hmm. And, uh, that went all very well. Nice to get all that silage and grass done. So we have to make a plan, like you say, whether we plough that all up or not, or uh, whether we'll be harvesting canola next time. That's right, yeah, canola is very close to being ready, isn't it? So uh, we might have to jump in and get that done. Indeed, we might. The other thing I was thinking, actually, I said last time, I think we needed a little, a little bit more hay. So good thing we didn't mow that other grass. Oh, good point, yeah, actually. Yeah, I haven't completely forgotten about that, but that's a good point. But very good. Oh, well, I think we'll... Uh, good place to wrap things up there, isn't it? I do think that, yep. Oh, good day's work again. Perfect. All right, oh, well. Have a good week. I look forward to uh, catching up with you again same time next week. Yes, indeed, mate. Have a good one. All right. Take care, buddy. Catch you then. Bye-bye. See ya. There we go, folks. We do have more harvesting to do, but uh, it's not quite ready. So that grass work today came in very, very handy. Uh, and our new silos are looking good too. Uh, thanks to Omatana for those. They are working really, really well. So, uh, nothing more than for me to say thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, and thanks from that guy over there as well. And we will see you all again next time. Take care. Bye for now.